everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Dana Perez and welcome to another week in NYC with me. It is Wednesday, but it's not your average Wednesday because Al and I, we are headed to the River Lobster Company, which is a restaurant on a boat. So we're actually headed around, are gonna be wearing both white because it is Labor Day weekend. And this video may go up a bit later, but we are gonna wear all our white before Labor Day. But even though I am a girl that loves like an all white winter look, but anyway, I was like, let me put on my contacts so I can go outside because I usually wear contacts when I do like blogging stuff. And I have remembered that I just got my Warby Parker sun prescription sunglasses in. And I don't know if I showed you this in the last vlog. I may have, but I'm gonna show you again. This is what they look like. Did I show you these already? Let me know down below if I already showed you this. But these are the sunglasses and I can see clearly through them. So, and it is like the most beautiful day in New York City. So we decided to walk and it's such a nice day out along the river. It's really pretty, especially because this is where the sun sets in New York. So we're about to get on the boat and I'll show you what it's all about. Yeah, I'm not there yet. And this is the Intrepid. It's a air and space craft museum and you can go inside. There's like all these planes on top. And I actually was in there like not too long ago, so that's a museum here in New York. top 10 day which means it's one of the best days one of the top 10 days of the year so it's stunning out right now it is september and it's 64 degrees outside so i am loving it in the room though it's 83 degrees but still we are moving on from like the warm and just uncomfortable summer weather um today i am filming a walmart fashion haul which will be already on my channel once this video goes up so i will leave that linked here but I just got this huge Walmart package. This is how big this package is. And I am so excited because Walmart had like the most amazing fall things ever. We have amazing like faux leather dresses. It's really crazy. I hope honestly that some of these things don't fit because I did not plan on spending this much money at Walmart, but if it fits, I mean, what an amazing, this is basically a full fall wardrobe. So I'm going to do the video now. And also Al and I had a fun time on the lobster boat. I liked it because it was a restaurant at sea versus we've been to some other like dining restaurant like cruise things and they're more like formal and have more of like a buffet or something like that so i liked how casual this one was and the food was really good and we had a fun time so this is the aftermath of filming a walmart try on haul everything is just a hot mess like usual the majority of everything from walmart fits amazing so I have some serious considering to do if I want to exchange anything get different sizes but like majority of everything fits amazing so be sure to check out the video to see what I found what I got honestly the cutest finds they are just amazing I'm going to clean this up and enjoy the weather because it is stunning outside so done filming the Walmart video turned out really well and Al and I have decided to... We're just uh, getting some biking in in Central Park. Yeah, um, <laughs> I got distracted by the person behind me. Anyway, um, we're biking in Central Park. It's so freaking nice out. And the spot's really pretty because we have the city behind us. But we're going to e-bike throughout, go to Target. There are Targets in the city. They're very small. It's not the same vibe as like Mega Target, but we have to get some groceries because... We are having a family party tomorrow my sister's birthday is today and we're celebrating yeah. tomorrow so it's gonna be a good time gotta get some stuff for that yeah family party grilling all that kind of stuff so let's enjoy the day 
Party day, so it's Alcenio's sister's birthday, and he over there is planning a little party for his family to come over. So I'm going to help set up the decorations. So I'm going to kind of create like a fun, like photo wall, just to add some sort of like birthday celebration over here. So we just went to Target. I picked up this pink streamers, and then these cute little stars to create a little fun moment over here so it screams birthday so let's get it set up all right it's done i think it looks so cute photo wall is done and honestly this is so affordable it's such a cute little way to like dress up a space for a birthday party have a little table and we've got the chips ready we are just setting up. It takes a lot to plan a party. Elsani and I actually had people over last week for like a first party that I think we've ever thrown. So there is so much work that goes into it. You have to clean, get the groceries, find out what everyone likes to eat, if people are picky eaters, dietary restrictions, making sure you have sodas, non-alcoholic beverages, beverages. Like it is a lot of work. So the next time I'm invited to a party, I feel I know so much more from just hosting a party that what do you need to me to bring? Bringing just like a bottle of wine just goes such a long way. So learning a lot. We're adulting over here. We're adulting, throwing a party. And since El Senio is Puerto Rican, he's making Arroz. Arroz con gandules. Gandules. Arroz con gandules. Okay. Which is a national dish of Puerto Rico. Which is a national. I must leave that in there. Al said it best. A uh, national dish of Puerto Rico. So it's a national dish of Puerto Rico, and usually, like people cook it for holidays, mostly like around Christmas time, and then um, gatherings, mostly celebratory like birthdays um, and any occasion like that yeah so it's the dish um, my special occasion dish coming from Milwaukee we call them cannibal sandwiches um, this is a very like Wisconsin thing and actually I think people go to the hospital for this oh we God. eat raw ground beef so it's not even like a good grade of beef we eat raw ground beef on rye with um, white onions and pepper and they're called cannibal sandwiches, which is, they're actually really good. I haven't had one in a while, but it's definitely like a dish where you have on Christmas or New Year's. But this is probably more healthy <laughs> and a bit more edible, we honestly. We have cooked food over here. We have cooked food. Yeah. It's, it's a very Wisconsin thing. It's literally just a Midwestern thing. I don't know where it came from because it's basically a beef tartare, which is so much better because the beef grade is up there. But um, don't try that one at home, honestly. Let's check out what this rice looks like. Yeah. All right, so this is what the rice is looking like. <gasps> wow. How beautiful. It, it looks is. good. This is seven cups of rice. So we have like we have 15 people coming here. Yeah, 15 people. Um, and this is just going to be sort of like a main slash side dish. Mm -hmm. But typically it's served as a side dish and you would have like a main, like a meat as a main dish. And then this is just like a side. But this is a main portion just because we're gonna be doing grilled foods and we don't have like a special cut of meat so you can fill up on rice and it's just good for leftovers and stuff right it looks amazing and it smells so good so al and i are grilling for the first time we don't know what we're doing but i think it's going to be fine it just takes a long time to preheat and it's so cool because al has some grills on his little outdoor space so yep we are going to make some burgers and hot dogs
Good morning, everyone. The party was a success and people did take pictures in front of this photo wall. Probably going to take it down later today, but I did wake up with a slight hangover and I'm so mad because I hate being hungover. It's like the worst ever. And I think the more you age, I believe it gets worse and worse and worse. And this year is one of my big birthdays. I'm turning 30 this year. And so I think after that date, it's just gonna go like downhill, like drinking anything. I'm just gonna be hungover every day. So I'm not feeling the best, but I pulled myself together. I am having like really a bad hair day, honestly. I don't know what's in my hair, but it's not wet. It just is super greasy. So sorry for that image. But I'm gonna put some dry shampoo in. Al and I are gonna pull ourselves together because he told me about this cool like vintage like flea market. It's in the Upper West Side. And it's right next to also some like thrift stores. Like um, Housing Works is a thrift store here and a Goodwill. So we might just do like some a fun like bargain hunting kind of Sunday. Maybe get a coffee outside and just enjoy the day. All right, I'm gonna attempt to fix this horrible hair day with this new Pros dry shampoo. I don't know if it's a liquid or a powder. It's a powder. So I guess I'm just gonna put it in my hair. Yo, it's a bad hair day. I am washing my hair less though. I usually was washing my hair like every single day and I've stopped that. Now I'm doing every other day and if I can, I'll do um, every two days, I'll wash my hair. And I've honestly seen my hair go from like getting oily every day and then it's just not getting oily anymore. I'm happy about that. And I think instead of putting it in my palms, I'm just gonna put it on my root where it's oily. I think that makes more sense. It's looking better. I'm gonna just put it in a low pony, but at least like the roots aren't like as bad. So I'm ready to go to the thrift. I am excited to see like what they have. I'm looking for anything. It's probably mostly like home decor stuff, um, vases. I want to find like a vase to do like my own painting on it. I bought some chalk paint a while ago and I haven't used it yet. So I'm trying to find like a cool vase that has a good shape that I could like DIY. So that's what I'm on the hunt for and a good cup of coffee. So let's go. All right with the black sunglasses on a scale of one to 10, <laughs> how hungover do I look? Yeah. I'm, hoping, I'm hoping it's a low number because I feel like I look fine. I actually, I think I'm getting better. No, you don't look fine. Yeah, I just want like a coffee and I want some sugar in it. I think I need like some sugar to revive mm -hmm. my feelings. So I just love these homes, so beautiful. up here are just so beautiful it's like gilded age i don't think so i don't know i saw the tv show but i don't know what i'm talking about but their architecture is just so gorgeous up here it's like very picturesque and not very touristy because no there's nothing going on around here <laughs> Every Sunday they're open and they have lots of food, Korean corn dogs, Indian food. Oh my god. Wow. Little treats. Pickles. I smell that, yeah. Okay, that smells good. And now over here they have tons of vendors, so let's try to find like a cool home to course up. Let's Make our rounds. Maps. That's cool. Oh. So we just finished with the bazaar. I took off my shirt because it's way too hot. And they have some really cool things. A lot of like antique glassware, lots of clothing, linen, dresses. I saw a pant that like, and what else they have? Plants, 
lots of uh, eclectic little finds, so it's great addition. I didn't find what I was looking for. I was looking for like a base, but maybe we'll try other places. It's just so nice out now, so I definitely need a coffee, a cold one. Um, I love this one from Starbucks. It's their oat milk, brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. It is delicious. I think they brought it out during summer and I'm gonna order it. It has the perfect touch of sweetness. I think that's what I need right now for my hangover. I got my coffee and don't worry, I'm walking in the street because they have open streets right now where you can, they block it off to cars so you can enjoy and they have like little games set up and it's every Sunday until October. How nice. All right, so I picked this vase up from Goodwill for $3 and I thought this would be a fun little DIY. I wanna paint it kind of like a vintage paint. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use some of the paints that I found at Hobby Lobby when I was back in Wisconsin. I have the color, these are chalk paints, so they have like a, a matte look to them. This one's in the color, what color is this? French linen. We have Chateau and Antique Wax. So I have a light color, a medium, and a dark. So I'm just gonna wing it and paint it on with a wet paper towel and just kind of dab it around. I want it to be a pretty like antique look. There's one on Pottery Barn, like the same shape, and I'm trying to kind of create it on a budget. This project costed me um, $7 with all the paint. So let's just do a fun little DIY. I just went in with like two colors. I'm gonna have this dry for a little bit and then do some more layers. And then I have this dark color that I'm gonna do the top so as if it like someone was touching this or was sitting in like the ground just so it has a like, really cool antique look. But I think this is so much fun. It's a little easy project and it's like no risk because this was pretty cheap. So I'm just gonna continue on. Here is the progress of the vase. I love how it does look like stone. However, I'm not loving how gray it's been turning out. So the next time I'm at a craft store, I'm gonna buy like a lighter color like this, like a sand color and kind of go over everything to brighten it up a bit. But if I just put it like on here, it does look like stone. So I'm really happy like how it turned out. I just want it to be a bit brighter and I'll probably put in some like faux branches and have a really cute face moment. And for the price, the DIY, I recommend. And you don't even need paint brushes. I just use a paper towel the whole time. I did do a lot of layers though. So it did take me kind of a while to build up to this, but I love how it turned out. So that is it for this week's vlog. Be sure to stay tuned to see how this face turns out. Probably do it in my next couple vlogs to finish it out. So with that, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.